Oh yeah, I forgot about this. All right. It is time for Fish in the News. We are going to look at uh, some of the things that are happening Potters. right now in the world of fish. Uh, there's some very interesting things happening right now. There's some recent news that came out that I personally find absolutely hilarious because one of the proponents of ancient fish that everyone loves and loves to talk about the giant predatory fish a lot of people's favorite fish a lot of people's favorite like extinct animal in general uh is the dunkleosteus however recent studies show it uh it's actually a lot smaller than we thought it was <laughs> um I don't know, there was a graphic I saw, okay, yeah, so here's the graphic. So this is the original size that we thought the Dunkleosteus was, right? And then a paper came out and we were like, okay, well maybe it's not quite that big. And then we set it to like here. And then we were like, oh, maybe it's not quite that big. And we set it to here. And then this most recent paper brought it all the way down to this, which is like the size of like a modern like Goliath grouper, which don't get me wrong, is a big and cool fish. It is certainly a cool fish, and I'm not uh, saying that it's bad to like the Dunkleosteus as it is. But yes, he quite literally got nerfed like a video game character that was a little bit too uh, overpowered. Now, I'm not sure exactly. I'm sure the ar uh, article goes into it. I went back to the literature, and it turned out that most previous articles, authors who had talked about this were basically just eyeballing it, which is really funny to me that, like, entire generations of kids grew up loving this creature and, like, worshipping this ancient fish creature, uh, and it turns out that all of, like, the estimates on it were people kind of just guessing. Like, sure, educated people, educated guesses, not just random people guessing, um, but people just guessing, basically. Um, and so they found out that it didn't rule out some of the si extreme size estimates. It ruled them all out. So this isn't a suggestion. Previous size estimates have been a suggestion, right? Like this is a suggestion. It going a bit shorter was a suggestion. This is not a suggestion. Okay. This is uh, basically saying anything above this or like anything above this point here was impossible based on the fossil structures that we found so far. Uh, so basically every previous scientist who eyeballed it has been proven uh, basically completely uninformed on the topic, which I just find funny. I was never a huge Dunkleosteus fan. It's obviously cool. It's like a giant extinct shark. I made a whole video on placoderms. Um, I certainly do think the fish are cool in general, but I was never one who obsessed over this fish. And seeing an entire community of people who like draw this thing fall apart is a little bit funny. A little bit sad but a little bit funny like most of the extinct fish art in existence is of this particular fish like this is the most drawn and worshipped extinct fish and now everyone's drawings are becoming inaccurate <laughs> um oh yeah this was a news that someone sent me there's a fish doorbell apparently located in verds Luis. oh no is this dutch again where am i oh god i'm in the netherlands okay my Dutch last time, last time I read some Dutch things, I was criticized heavily, but that's fine. I will speak. Uh, my Dutch is wonderful. So Utrecht has developed and installed the world's first ever doorbell for fish located at Verdsluis. Uses an underwater camera and a live stream to allow the lock keeper to open the lock when necessary to allow fish to pass through. Wait, what? So fish swim up to some kind of lock or dam structure? And there's a guy waiting there and he sees the fish and he's like, ah, yeah, you're not invasive and presses the button to let them in. Wait, I want this job. This is just a, is it invasive or is it not invasive? Duizenden vissen dwars door Utrecht. Ze gaan dan via de oude gracht op zoek naar een plek om eitjes te leggen. Dat doen ze vooral in het donker. A donker? Please tell me a donker is a doorbell. That is such a sick and Dutch name for a doorbell. Please tell me a donker is a doorbell. Here is a minder goed zien. En is het veiliger om te zwemmen? The donker. Er is één probleem. De weertsluis gaat niet. There is één probleem. There is één probleem. There is one problem. The weertsluis does not have a method of opening. I don't know, I'm probably making it up. What is the relevance of this clip of him walking with his granddaughter? The Fister Bell. The Fister Bell? No way. The Fister Bell. That is so sick. 
the fish doorbell. The fish doorbell. <laughs> That's sick. Doorbell. Onder water bij de Weert Sluis hangt een camera. Oké. Okay. www.visdoorbell.nl kun je de beelden live bekijken. Dus een stream. vis, druk dan op de visdoorbell. De sluis you can do it yourself. En als er veel vissen liggen te wachten, kan hij de sluis open doen. We we can do it. We can watch the fish doorbell and let en the fish vissen, in. vissen, de oude gracht door, ga naar visdoorbell.nl. Am I crazy or does this seem highly inefficient? Wait. Using the site, members of the public can watch the live stream to see if there are any fish waiting at the lock. Oh my god. There's a doorbell! <laughs> Do we just wait here until a fish shows up? <laughs> I want to do this for the rest of my life. Wait, okay, can we talk about the efficiency of this though? This doesn't make sense. Are the fish really just gonna wait at the- <gasps> I just saw something move on the left. Are the fish really gonna wait next to the dam? Right? They're just gonna sit there and wait for it to open. Yes, they know. They know that it's gonna open. How are they trained to do that? How do they? How does a random fish understand that? This is so inefficient. Why not just have it open at all times? What is it? Why does it ever need to be closed? I'm sure this would explain it. Oh, look! It's the things that we can find. Winde, which looks like a golden shiner. So maybe it's like a, a roach or something. Snooker bars. <laughs> Snook. Sorry, I don't want to miss the live stream. Um, not sure what this is. Rollsvorn, Snook, oh wait, uh, Pickerel, okay. Baling, Eel, sure. Colbell, I don't know. Brassim, probably a Bream. Don't know this, this is probably just a Perch. And then Alwife, no, doesn't look like one. I don't know. I don't know European fishes. It's cool though, should we ring the doorbell? Am I causing chaos if I ring the doorbell? I'm ringing it. Did is ye photo? Oh, I took a photo. What button did I just click? Uh-oh, my doorbell disappeared. I rang the doorbell and took a photo. There's no fish in the photo, though. Wait, are they going to sue me? Because I took a photo and submitted it that didn't have a fish in it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Wait, I kind of want to see the lock open, though. The Dutch police will be at your door soon. Man, I was kind of hoping that- Wait, this is a video! This isn't a live stream. This is a, a two minute video. The time does fit, but what? They just overlaid a timer on a video? Hold on, let me refresh it. There's 81 people watching. Oh, I can click the doorbell again. Oh, now it's 29 seconds. Okay, so it's like you see the last amount of seconds. Yeah, the time does line up. I'm a little delayed though. It's a stream you can rewind. Oh, the time goes up as you watch. Okay, okay. All right. The Dutch intelligence agency is after you. Man, I was really hoping that I would get to see a fish so I could open it. If like the camera detects a fish, it'll automatically open the, the lock for the fish. This is cool. I don't think this is efficient or effective at all. Basically, the doorbell notifies a guy who can open the dam. That's an awful idea. Do you know how many people are going to get, just go on this website and notify this guy about it? And just spam him? You ring the guy? Oh man, I have the opportunity to cause so much chaos right now. Fish are most active when the sun goes down and comes up, so it's actually good timing if it's like 6.30 over there. This could very quickly go wrong for them. Yes, I agree. This could very quickly go wrong for him. The only reason that this is not, the only reason that this is still functioning is because he is, they haven't um, hit mainstream media yet. This hasn't been reported on to a large audience. If a large audience finds out that this is a thing, damn. Okay, well, congratulations on the fish doorbell. Woo!